This is AudioCube's latest 2-in-1 Windows 11 PC, the AudioCube iWork GT. The portable PC has attracted a lot of attention in the past two years, and it seems that 2-in-1 tablet is becoming a good option for mobile office, study, and entertainment. Well, we think the iWork GT is definitely a great budget example for you to first try this form. Then no more words, let's see what we got here. Okay, just a look at its design first. On the front, this Windows tablet looks pretty the same as those Android tablets we have reviewed. It also comes with an 11-inch FHD Plus LCD display with a standard 60Hz refresh rate. And it supports 98 sRGB colors and a 75 P3 colors. In daily use like watching film, it looks pretty good. There's no problem if you view it at a side angle as it supports 180 wide view angles. On the top of the display, there's a front camera for video conference. Apart from the front one, it also equips a rear camera just like the Huawei MateBook E tablet. But don't expect too much from the imaging quality of these two cameras. Well, from the size, you will know how different it is from Android tablets. The variety of interfaces and the air vents seems to remind us that it is a more powerful Windows PC. And if you get close enough, you will hear the noise coming out of the built-in fan, but it's not too loud while well, it's still acceptable. There's two USB-C ports on the left side along with the micro HDMI video out port. On the right side, it features another USB 3.1 port and a micro SD slot along with a 3.5mm audio jack. As a tablet, it does exceed our expectations. In addition to the wired connectivity, the iWork GT also supports pretty good wireless connection, including the Wi-Fi 6 and the Bluetooth 5.1. Especially for the Wi-Fi, it's driven by the Intel AX201, which is a great chipset for wireless network. And the speaker intakes on the both sides also indicate that the tablet also comes with dual speaker units for stereo sound. But the actual sound is not really impressive. A good news is that the iWork GT is running the Windows 11. Instead of updating the system by yourself, you would get the tablet shipping with the new Windows 11 Home Edition. And there's no need to worry whether it runs smoothly or not, because the tablet is powered by a Gen 11 Intel mobile chip. And there's an i3 and i5 versions for options. The model in our hand is with an i3 1115G4 chip, which is more like a budget option for light uses. Or you can also get the i5 model to get better performance. In addition, what really surprised us is that the 8GB RAM is running at very fast speed, which as you can see here, it's 3733MHz, which is also the highest speed supported by the i3 CPU. While for the i5 version, it seems to be able to clock even faster at 4267 MHz. They are even faster than some latest desktop PC. And we also have an NVMe 256GB drive on board, and the speed is really also not bad. The i3 CPU integrates two processor cores and four threads thanks to hyper-threading. Each core can clock from 3GHz base to 4.1GHz boost. In actual test, the operating range of the CPU is specified at 12 to 15 watts. And thanks to the fast speed RAM, we have to say that it does have a good performance for Windows 11. And the i3 chip's graphics is naming the GPU UHD graphics and offers 48 of the 96 EUs clocked at 400 to 1250 MHz. While for the i5 version, there's more power XE graphics with 80 EUs. Anyway, let's look back at the model we have in hand. For the 20 minutes CPU stress test, the i3 CPU is able to stable the run at the power at 12 watt to 15 watt. And let's kick this one off with a look at the Cinebench R23 and R20. The result is also not bad for such power output. For daily uses like office productivity, the tablet works pretty well, and the result in PC Mark 10 also proved it. Even for light digital content creation, the iWork GT can also offer relatively good support. For video playback, the chip also works well with different video files, and it does well native decoding for 4K and even 10-bit tapes.
Then we run some games on the 720p on the tablets, including CSGO and PUBG. For CSGO, surprisingly, it could finish the FPS benchmark at the 97 FPS frame rate. But in heavy games like PUBG, the 8GB RAM is not really enough to support the computing of both the CPU and GPU. So it would be better to go for the 16GB RAM version if you play these kinds of games. With no memory problems encountered, the i3 model of the iWork GT still can run the game at around 40fps or even better. The single tablet is pretty lightweight, about 600 grams at the Windows tablet, although we've seen many Android tablets getting lighter. If you want to add the keyboards, there are two styles for options offered by AudioCube. This is the cover one called the Light Keyboard, and we've seen a lot of this kind on most tablets. It's made of synthetic materials with a touchpad that folds out. It's quite a smart design for not seizing up the cover when it's folded up. After using it for a while, it's not exactly a great touchpad since it's small and could be a bit laggy. But of course, it's better than nothing as an import cover for Windows tablets. The flat keyboard cover supports two standing ways when you put the tablet in. One is more upright, the other levels is slightly reclined, which is a better angle for me when putting the tablet on the table. In addition to the standard keys, the keyboard layout also offers a lot of function keys that might help you type more effectively. When it's fully folded up, the whole package with the tablet is a bit thick and heavy, weighing over 1 kilogram. But if you choose another keyboard, it could be even thicker and heavier when putting the tablet on, which weighs over 1.2 kilograms. However, I actually prefer to this one with the new design. Once open the keyboard, you can see the Pokepin connector on the right. You can just simply put the tablet on, and the strong magnet will hold the tablet firmly and make it like a holding in the air, which I think has better angles if you try to use the tablet for a long time. But if you've been used to tap the touchable screen, you may find out it tends to be a bit wobble. The keyboard layout is almost the same as what we have on the last light keyboard, while the touchpad feels much better than the last one with slightly lower latency. There's another con you have to take with this portable tablet, which is the battery. The 3900mAh battery can offer around 3 hours of working time for the tablet under balanced mode. And under high performance mode, the battery life could be shorter. But on the other hand, the included 45W charger can also quickly collect the power back. So that's what you have to concern before buying. To conclude, the iWork GT is really a surprise we found our budget PC market. It's probably the most stable 2-in-1 budget tablet on the market with relatively high power of the Gen 11 Intel chips. If you're really thinking about the basic 2-in-1 Windows tablet, the iWork GT no doubt will save you a lot of money. So that's all about it. Hope our review will help you out. And if you'd like to learn more about it, please check the link down below the video. And thank you for watching. This is Will from Gizmo China. See you soon.